Okay, this is a Tar Hollow Dogwood Shelter House. Um, man, I'm bad with the road names. Okay, and I'm actually surprised nobody is here. If I was going to go up on a picnic or get together with my family, man, I would definitely be here. This is pretty cool. This is really nice. It's secluded. I mean, it's like out here. There's no houses around here. This is, earlier I said this was a uh, Tar Hollow uh, National Forest. It's actually Tar Hollow State Forest. Different from the Tar Hollow State Park, I would imagine. Um, but this is really nice out here. You're out here. I, I'm, I'm cruising around out here. I'm a truck just went by, but very seldom do you see, do you see and it's nice because the road's only about one lane wide, so. But anyway, let's go check this out. We got a fire pit, we got a fire. We got a little bit of firewood. I imagine you gotta bring your own firewood. They're not gonna let you cut down stuff. That's cool. You can got a fireplace in here. And by the smell of it and the looks of it, it has been used. This is this is slick right here. And like I said, I am surprised nobody is here. Even got a little grill there if you want to grill some stuff up. Let's see what this little sign over here says. Maybe it's you got to reserve it and you just can't come in. Ah, reservation list. So you do got to re reserve it. You can't just come in here and use it. Let's see, I, have, I think it has a number. Check in 3 p.m., check out at 1 p.m. I'm going to assume that's the following day, so you can probably run it overnight. Dogs and cats are permitted on a leash outside of the shelter only. No nails, staples are permitted. Clean up before leaving. Maximum occupancy, 10 people. Maximum trailers too. So yeah, you can actually camp here. You can actually camp here, reserve it and camp here. That is, that's even cooler. But again, this is Tar Hollow Dogwood Shelter.